Found this bolo on the curb after a garage sale. Has a $5 tag on it and no one bought it. Free for us. Took a best offer of $525 in two days. Probably could have gotten more. Paid $2 and sold for... Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? Let's do this again. Paid $2 and sold for $6,108. <gasps> Had two others that sold for the same price. Though I paid $20 for those. All from the same estate sale. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Time reseller. $600 for a My Little Pony. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are going to talk about items that sold in September on eBay or other platforms, mostly eBay. I posted this in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. It is share your best September 2022 Bolo item. A Bolo is an item to be on the lookout for, an item you can buy low and sell for a profit. In this video, I'm going to tell you where they got the item, what they paid for it, and what it sold for, and I'm going to pop a screenshot up of what the item is. This will hopefully help all of us learn and look for these items when we're out. Uh, there will be some from Bolo Buddies members um, of my YouTube channel. This They do get a bonus shout out in this video if they share. Everyone else will remain anonymous. I'll just be sharing your Bolo. So um, feel free to join the Facebook group and share a Bolo under the Featured Announcements section. If you are a Bolo Buddies member, please hashtag Bolo Buddies member and put your eBay store or your YouTube channel not the link, just in writing, so that when I do this video, I don't miss you. All right, you guys, let's get started with the first one. In the other video, I did a little teaser and gave you the information of a bolo I sold. I said I got it at an estate sale. I paid around a dollar for it, and it sold for $149.99 plus shipping. This is what it is. It is Vintage Barrel Prismacolor Thick Lead Color Art Pencils. Incomplete. Um, I will tell you, I had lots of messages wanting to know if I had specific colors. One thing people were asking for was the metallic colors. So if you ever find these and you find the metallics, maybe list them individually. Um, I went ahead and listed mine as a lot. Um, originally, I didn't lay them all out. Uh, and somebody was like, well, are they sharpened on the wrong side? And I'm like, ah, so I redid the photos and laid them all out. Um, I did look for a couple people for a couple specific pencils, and then I was like, I just can't keep doing this. So I just laid them out and took close-ups. So that is how I listed those. Bought for 20 off Facebook Marketplace, sold in less than 90 days. Lot of 18 new Franklin Heirloom Library Books, Master Classics, sold for $300. Wow. My biggest sale ever, new open box, sold for 600, had it listed for 700. Paid 80 at a Christian thrift store. It is Brother Digital Color Printer. Printer, And it says, please do not include invoice, which means um, somebody probably drop shipped it. Cat Feeling Thrifty, Bolo Buddies member. Uh, this is her eBay store. Check her out. I will link it down below. She said, I bought this at a church estate sale for $3. eBay auction started at $175, had five bids, sold for $232.49 plus shipping. I couldn't believe it when I brought it home and researched what I could possibly sell it for. It is a vintage Trifari signed rare peas in a pod brooch, green enamel, gold tone. From Bolo Buddies member... Thrift in Style 1156, and this is her eBay store. Just, just, just sold overnight for Avon Maui Bliss Body Wash for $60. She got 13 sealed pieces at the bins for three bucks. This is what it looks like. That's a cool one. This one comes from Ohio Treasure Hunters. That is his eBay store. It looks like this. He said, bought this at the Goodwill bins. The contents inside were sealed. I paid around $1.50 for it, had it listed for $59.99 and took a best offer for 50 plus shipping. Buyer was all in for $61.19. It is a Philips Sonicare Essence rechargeable toothbrush. I will tell you my toothbrush story. It's disgusting. Um, those toothbrushes that electric that vibrate, you know, what are they called? An electric toothbrush? 
I ordered two of them off eBay for me and my husband. And I got one and it was apparently a store return. It had toothpaste. Oh, it was so disgusting. So you guys, if you source these things at a thrift store or a Ben's or wherever, please check them because it was so disgusting. Um, I'm like, somebody else used this toothbrush. Oh, and don't clean it and sanitize it and sell it. Just throw it away, please. Uh, I'm kind of glad there were like remnants of toothpaste on it. So I didn't, uh, just gross, gross. So anyway, that's my, uh, toothbrush story. I did. Oh, I returned it. I opened up a case on that one. I'm sorry, but that's just too much for me. I bought this at a yard sale for $3. I sold it for full asking price minus my 20% off promotion. So it came to $79.99 plus shipping. Buyer was all in for $130.11. Warring Pro Double Restaurant Style Professional Thick Waffle, I think Maker? That's what it looks like. Okay. This is another one from Ohio Treasure um, Hunters. Got these at a garage sale for maybe 25 cents each max. Buyer purchased three of them at full asking price of $69.99 minus 20% promotional discount. So $55.99 each. So $167.97 total plus shipping. Uh, Clarins Paris Satin Finish Body All Natural Oil Spray. Okay, this one comes from eBay store and both the great and the small. This is the eBay store. Uh, here's my bolo. Vintage and or salvaged lighting. I picked this up from junk pickup days in my town. So free. So curbside pickup. I assume they didn't like the vintage lighting and updated. Anyway, they just threw it out to the curb for trash. I was asking $650 and the buyer offered $625. I accepted fast. They paid $625 plus $107 for shipping. I'm so excited. It's my biggest sale ever. Paid $2 and sold for, oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Let's do this again. Paid $2 and sold for $6,108. <gasps> Had two others that sold for the same price, though I paid 20 for those, all from the same estate sale. And this guy has been in my group for a long time and he knows um, his books and stuff like this. Catalogs, books, ephemera. He said two were 40 uh, the first day and at the cashier's table, the other was in the basement and was normal soft cover price. Passed on them at 40. Good thing everyone else did too and they were still there the following afternoon. Are you kidding me? Like I just can't even believe my eyes right now. McMaster Car Supply Company catalog number 27, garage supplies. I don't even know what to say about that. $2 into 6,108. Wow. Bought it for 16, sold it for 400. Mega MJ 159 hand cranked mega meter. Mega me mega meter? I don't know, that's what it looks like. <laughs> Some sort of tool or something. All right. This is also from, uh, he has been a member of the Facebook group and following my channel for a long time. Jerry, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Um, thank you for sharing also. I picked up this complete Guitar Hero video game set at the church thrift. They were asking $2. I told her I'm not paying $2. It's way more valuable than that. And she responded by saying, well, I won't take any more than five. So I paid her five. Listed it on eBay, sold comps were around 200 to 220. When I cross posted it to Mercari, Mercari suggested that I pro price at 239. I figured, well, maybe I should give that a shot. It sold after five days for $239 on Mercari. Just wanted to point out that cross posting is almost always a good idea, and sometimes Mercari suggested price can actually bring you more money. It's a Guitar Hero Live Xbox Supreme. So, my experience with Mercari, uh, what is it recommended? Suggested, suggested price is it's normally low. So I always comp on eBay, but if in the situation that it was higher than sold comps, I would probably do what he did. Um, go with a higher price because maybe it's selling higher on Mercari. And yes, cross posting is a great idea because you get different eyes on your items. I tell you, there are different people shopping on the different platforms. I use List Perfectly. There's a demo of how I use it in the description. I've been using it since 2019. Absolutely love it. Highly recommend it. 
I do have a referral code, Bolo Buddies, all one word. If you want to use that, you can get 30% off your first month. And again, there's like a tutorial down in the description. Check that out. I walk you right through it. Um, I'm like a visual person, so I want to see how it works before I decide if I want to uh, invest in my business in that way. So found this bolo on the curb after a garage sale. It has a $5 tag on it and no one bought it. Free for us. Took a best offer of $525 in two days. Probably could have gotten more. Curbside after a garage sale. Nobody bought it. US AGM uh, 1941 dated vintage World War II world. Um, and then it's written out military issue canteen and cover. No cup. That's incredible. Nice sale. This one comes from 1987 Ventures. She is a Bolo Buddies member and this is her YouTube channel. Go and sub her up. Uh, got these at, for four bucks at a garage sale and took a best offer of 95 on Poshmark. They are, I'm not sure what, because Poshmark has this funny thing where in the photo, you can't see the title. Um, I did that once on Instagram. I posted and everybody's like, what did you sell? And I'm like, it's right there. And they're like, what's it called? And I'm like, oh yeah, sorry. So I don't know what these are. I'm trying to look at the label. I can't see it. But anyway, if you recognize it, you recognize it. Uh, Tracy, if you're watching, let us know in the comments what kind of sandals those are. This was thrown into a Donatella Bottolino online auction. She tossed these into a sports card and basketball lot. To my surprise, the cards are being graded and sold individually at great prices. Marilyn Monroe 1956 photo deck. Um, so they're playing cards. And what she said was, this is from Flippin' Hot Finds. That's her um, YouTube channel and her eBay store. She is a Bolo Buddies member, but she said she was bidding on it. I think she paid $34 for the entire lot. And at the end, Donna's like, here, have some playing cards. And sometimes she'll do that during her auctions. Like if you're bidding and it gets to the end, she'll start adding things. And she added a $200 item. <laughs> so that is awesome. If you are not following Donna Bottolino on YouTube, this is her channel. She's amazing. I buy stuff from her and auctions for you. Our YouTube channels all the time. Um, I will link them down in the description. Every fall I do a closet clear out. Not wearing it, it's gone. So this was mine and over a decade. Um, this was mine and over a decade old. Yankee Stadium jacket sold in hours. MLB New York Yankees majestic full zip jacket $95. $37 from an auction accepted a best offer of $250. This comes from Bolo Buddies member Eye Candy Vintage. This is her eBay store. And this is a Glipsy Armani figurine collectible. Uh, figurine. And I will tell you that Donatella Bottolino, I have seen her sell three or four of these over at her YouTube auction. Um, and they, they cater to resellers mostly. They do one-offs sometimes also, but it's definitely a place to get inventory. This did not come from Donna's auction, but I recognize uh, the brand. So very cool. Paid $30 at a thrift store two months ago. When I saw it, I knew it was something special. Just didn't know how special until I got home. It is a Filter Queen Majestic Canister Vacuum. Sold for $294.99 plus shipping. Purchased at the Goodwill for $3.99. Honestly, would have walked past it, but have learned from other resellers that alcohol advertising can be a bolo. Sold in two days for a best offer of $79.99. Bonus. I got an amazing message from the buyer after it was delivered telling me how a friend of his had too much to drink one night and almost stole one of these from a bar. And they've always joked about it. And now he is gifting this one to him for a Christmas. I absolutely love my job as a reseller. And this is one of the reasons why. Connecting people with items that have sentimental value. Yes, I made a profit, but they are creating new memories because of it. It's an Angry Orchard Hard Cider Apple Stump Statue Figure Tip Jar Official Bar Display. Purchased two of these this month at a yard sale for a dollar total. And as of last night, both have sold within weeks of listing. At purchase, I had no idea what they were, just that they were from 2005. Pixel, Pixel, Chick, Pixel Chick's Pink Single House sold for $65. Pixel Chicks Yellow Pink Cottage House, 2005, sold for 75. All right, this comes from, I'm gonna try not to chop up this eBay store. store Tamarin, 
Tamrian, hold on, Tamrian Tula Treasures. This is her eBay store. Got this ideal 1967 Flirty Eye Giggles doll at the Goodwill Bins for under $2. Sold on auction on eBay for $197.50. When you clap her hands, she giggles and her eyes move back and forth. At first, I thought she was broken and wasn't sure what she was supposed to do, but she was super cute. So I took a chance, bought her, and then I posted her on Rebel's Reseller Group. So the Rebel Reseller is a YouTube channel and she started a Facebook group. So definitely go over there, follow her YouTube channel and all, I'm sorry, subscribe to her YouTube channel and follow her on Facebook, um, in her Facebook group. She said they helped her figure it out. Best part, I actually found two identical ones the same day and will be auctioning the second in November. My eBay, eBay store is Tamaran Tula's Treasures. No YouTube channel. And this one comes from Champagne Taste 73, I think it is. Yes, Champagne Taste 73 eBay store. She said, purchased this at an antique mall about 30 years ago, paid less than 50 for this beautiful thing. I always knew it was something really different and rare. It is about two inches, 14 karat gold and with seed pearls. Very rare subject matter. I never wore it, but always cherished it. Decided to sell. Put it up for sale on a buy it now for 3000 just for fun. Within two days, I got an offer of 2000 and took it. I researched it for about two weeks and found a lot of information, which I forwarded to the buyer. I have been told that it was absolutely museum quality. The carving is out of this world. This is what it looks like. Okay, this one was sold by Where Pigs Fly Farm, and I was going to feature this in a video, and it timed out. It was past the 90 days, um, but I wanted to share it with you guys because I thought it was really cool, and Where Pigs Fly Farm is a YouTube channel. They are a nonprofit. Um, they take in rescued animals, and I'm talking about all kinds of rescued animals. They have, I believe, a bed and breakfast, and everything is nonprofit. So anything that's purchased from their eBay store goes towards the farm. So that will be linked down in the description. But she got this at a auction cleanout, and it sold for forty dollars. It's a 1909 uh, pamphlet lighting how to control it. WC. University of ne Nebraska, and that's what it looks like. So these old pamphlets or catalogs. Definitely research them because some of them can be worth a lot of money. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Um, please leave me a comment of which item was your favorite. And if you're new here, let me know how you found the channel. And if you've been here a while, let me know how you found the channel. I appreciate every single one of you. And go share a bolo over in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. And I will feature you in a video just like this. Thanks for watching.